Oh, Dave Smith, one for the Battlers, eh? Can you aim me through to the Ladbrokes 7.15 final, mate? You happy with the run? Oh, yeah, ecstatic with the run. <laughs> True question. Yeah, no, well, she went terrific. She showed early there. She just busted straight into the six. She came out and she had a real go early, and I was really proud of her. This is to loosen her, mate, just to ease you into these interviews, because I know you're very comfortable in front of the camera now. Um, mate, she certainly put the riding on the wall in the Association Cup. She getting better with each run, do you reckon, up here? Yeah, she is. Look, she's strong enough anyway. She's young, but look at the way she found the line. She's still learning how to handle herself in the field and run around. I think, you know, you look at the run, she's just getting better every week. And I think she feels better. I said to Matt today, I think she felt the best that she has since I've had her. And I'm hoping that if it continues on for next week, it'll be a real show. Was it a difficult conversation, mate, to uh, encourage Matt to leave her up here for the 7.15? Or was it just a matter of saying, mate, it's worth half a meal. I can take care of her for a bit longer. Uh, it was an easy conversation. <laughs> you know, I had the other end of the phone. I just hang up on him. He'd have to come up and get the dog. No, look. Uh, as soon as I trialled her, I knew she was something a little bit special and I said, no, I wouldn't mind. And the way it worked out with the Association Cup being put back, I got up here and trialled and uh, she just went enormous in the trial. So she just lived up to that today. You know strangers to having good stays, mate. We know what you did with Super Australia a couple of years ago. Is it nice to, nice to be back, not necessarily in the limelight, but involved in big races on big nights? Oh, absolutely. And I love the stays. The stays are the best part of the greyhound racing, really. So it's, yeah, it's great to have one. You know, there's a real, real skill and finesse and training them and getting them right for the night yeah, if they're not perfect they just don't keep running on when they, when they start to feel that pain threshold so yeah it is it, it really is a thrill for me to have the stays we're about to go into the box draw mate we've already seen Val Policella uh, Raiders Arc might have been have won the other heats who are you most worried of ahead of the million dollar, right. half a million dollar race yeah the two you just mentioned uh, just ran terrific tonight the, the sectionals the Tasmanian dog rattled off and then Val Policella's just been there done that um, trained to the minute, looked a million dollars going out there today, so yeah, I'm definitely scared of them. Last thing, mate, one thing I love about you, you are a proud Ladbrokes ambassador. You always remember to put that shiny red hat on, mate. Uh, next week, you're racing for half a mil. What would you do with your sling? I'm sure you're going to get some if you take it out. Yeah, I'll just do what I'm told with it. I've got a few young fellas <laughs> over there that will um, want to do something. I'm sure there'll be a motorbike, there's uh, some <laughs> Honda. Uh, 175 is yelling out, ah, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do something like that. We'll, we'll certainly have some fun with it if we're lucky enough. Good on you, mate. Good luck next week. Thank you very much. Sam. <laughs>